one and that's here and Abdullah Mahmoudsa present here ladies and gentlemen and fellow presenters good afternoon and salam the title of our paper is is on relocating identity and culture uh, Hawaiian reading of Jaladas's Ramadullah. I am Kya Ahmed Alon, Associate Professor and Chair in the Department of English at International Standard University. The paper is also co-authored by Muhammad Jusin Uddin, Assistant Professor and Head in the Department of English at Northern University of Bangladesh. The paper has two major sections. First one is theoretical framework, which I will present to you. And the second section is the textual analysis to be presented by the co-author, Mr. Pussy. Born on 12 October 1955, in a Fisher Fox village of North Potengi of Chakrajam, Kodishaka Javadas is an artist in Bangladesh representing the marginalized and outcast community. Not only is he engaged in creative works, but he is also a passionate and academic researcher of the way of the life and the socio-cultural conditions of the suburban Fisher folk. The author, having PhD on different best Bangla novels and fisherman's life, in 1982 from the University of Chakragao, fictionalizes as well as his precise the distressed life of the Sabota, portraying the dichotomy between mainstream society and the others, including the Fisher folk, prostitutes, and the Bolivians or Metros. His portrayal of the life of the marginalized becomes vivid and alive in his novel, Jalaputra, and other three poets Dabhankar, Gospi, and Mohan. More importantly, his fictional work, Ram Dolam, narrativizing the life and livelihood of the Sikhar community, has brought him much fame as a Bangladeshi Dalit writer. Particularly in respect of a successful work fictionalizing and historicizing the stories, Ram Dolam is an excellent outburst. The rebellious attitude of the protagonist, Ramdulam, the protagonist, raised from the method community for his own and community's betterment has been very extraordinarily delineated in Ramdulam. The novels including Ramdulam by Javadas can be viewed from various critical theories, Marxism, feminism, mysticism, postcolonialism, and so forth. Our present attempt is to reach Rangola post-colonially, applying a post-colonial critique from Kevada's theory on ambivalence, mimicry, and hybridity on locating the dislocated and relocated identity and culture of the secret community, the other of the other. Komi Kevada, one of the post-colonial trinity, along with as a side and guide to Chakravati Stina, plays his outstanding role in the post-colonial political enterprise by theorizing on ambivalence, identity, and mimicry, and with Ashcroft uniquely demarcates hyphenated and unhyphenated post-colonialism, so that Bhava outlined the three terms distinctively. Guruji theorizes on this, considering the relationship between the colonizer and the colonized, the theory we can take into consideration for examining the relationship between the so-called mainstream society of center and the marginalized or in empowered or subaltern in the decolonized context. Sorry. It is obvious that the downtrodden remain of ever disempowered and the so-called mainstream or upper class takes the position of the colonizer in the post-independent era. Franz Fanon, a French political philosopher, rightly opines that in the period the bloody skin or native leaders wear the white mask and consider that over the state and state power they have the prerogative right as the personal property neglecting and controlling the fate of the native power. And 
Then the Shumshan creates the gap between the center and the marginal lines and also develops the interactions between them. The interactions are to be examined in the light of the Hawaiian perspective. The present study therefore aims at examining the interaction between the Hindu Muslim apartments and the silver community in the setting of the city of Tokyo as depicted in Kapula. Mother uses the term ambivalence to show the relationship between the colonizer and the colonized, which denotes the attraction and repulsion between them. It refers to, quote, the simultaneous presence of conflicting attitudes towards an attitude target, most commonly the presence of both positive and negative attitudes. In addition, ambivalence may also reflect conflicting attitudes among any combination of effect, behavior, and cognition. Again, by the term hybridity, Humike Bhava means the colonizer colonized relations stressing the interdependence and mutual constructions of their subjectivities. Quote, it's a kind of negotiation, both political and cultural, between the colonizer and the colonized. Unquote. As a matter of fact, it refers to, quote, the in between spaces or merged identities. Unquote. In this, the location of culture, Bhava, further observes, hybridity is the sign of the productivity of colonial power, its shifting forces and physicities. It's the name for the strategic reversal of the process of domination through this power, that is, the production of discriminatory identities that secure the pure and original identity of authority. Hybridity is the revelation, revelation of the adoption of the colonial identity through the repetition of discriminatory identity facts. It displays the necessary information and displacement of all sites of discrimination and domination. Unquote. Apart from the colonial setting, it is evident that hybridity exists in the relationship between the disempowered and empowered. Among them in identity culture, the marginalized want to follow the empowered but cannot become the same as the powerful part of society, thus being located in the third space. Besides ambivalence and hybridity, Homike Bhava, in his location of culture, I use that colonizer through quote, mimicry strategy or unquote, slight civility, one the colonized, quote, almost the same but not quite, unquote. As we count the Swan proofs, when colonial discourse encourages the colonized subject to mimic the colonizer by adapting the colonizer's cultural habits, assumptions, institutions, and values. The result is never a simple reproduction of this phrase. Rather, it results in a blood copy of the colonizer that can be quite threatening. Bhava describes, quote, mimicry as one of the most effective strategies of colonial power and knowledge, unquote. It is wanted to create a class of Indians who should adopt English opinions, morals, then mimic them. They learn to act in English but do not look English nor are they accepted as such as Bhava puts it, quote, uh, to be anglicized in his simplicity, not to be English. Unquote. Likewise, the marginalized sometimes want to mimic the mainstream of empowered class, which is observed in the decolonized society. Now, our attempt is to view, in the light of the Bolivian perspective, the native community's identity and culture is located by the empowered and the community's struggle for the relocating their identity and culture in the dislocated society in Rangola, the colonial society in Rangola. The novel, set in the suburban area in the Totogram city, deals with the narrative about sweepers, the most marginalized community in Bangladesh. The novelist himself states, quote, they are more neglected than they, they are more neglected than fishermen. Sweepers' children are never accepted as it goes by the elite even if they are educated, unquote. 
However, the narrative of the marginalization, victimization and oppression is not only the particular human beings, it also historicizes the background of the professional commitments, uh, confinements of the community during the Mughal and British periods and even the post-independence era of Indian subcontinent. Not only does Jalada change the spiteful shifting and dislocation and identical crisis and the social economic condition of the mapped community, he also narrates the emergence of the community in the light of Hindu mythology, which is the root causes of their suppression and oppression caused by the powerful and their alliance, so-called mainstream society. The fictional word Rambulam, Jaladat and titles after the name of the protagonist Rambulam, a combination of Hindu name Ramachandra, the tenth avatar of Hinduism and a Muslim name Gula, promoting the loyal servant of Allah. It is obvious that the attempt to name so is to uh, blindly copy both Hindu and, uh, Hindu and Muslim identities. Rambola himself is confused about his own identity, so he asked his grandfather about his pe this peculiar name. Quote, grandfather, who has given me such a strange name? Unquote. The grandfather replies thus, quote, I, I myself have given you the name. Unquote. The main purpose of naming such is that, quote, he will not be hated by Hindus and Muslims. It is because first uh, to the Hindus and later to the Muslims, the secular community becomes the victim of hatred, hatred for their quote, through the profession to clean toilets and sewage mines. Unquote. Then the grandfather tells him how they have become metal and why they are here. In addition, as they clean toilets and sewage mines. The so-called gentleman can live, uh, can live in such a city in which both Muslims and Hindus take methods as this. Even, quote, they take a copy in their left, but they keep us far away with hatred and frequently reveals us with slight words, unquote. As Gurusam says, this is the obvious tendency to follow the Empowered by the disempowered, which Mimike Baba called Mimike. This Mimike is the result of the relationship between the enter and the, the, the center and margin, uh, characterized by the attraction. But the marginalized people cannot be uh, the identi identical compared with the so called. Uh, Mainstream people society, professional, uh, sorry, uh, mainstream people socially, professionally, and culturally. In the novel, the novelist narrativizes that the decolonized society, the fate of the sweeper community, uh, remain unchanged and even more neglected. A school was set up for educating the sweeper children, but there they are hated, neglected, avoided by, by all, except for the Buddhist, a Muslim teacher of the school. In the same school, there is another teacher named Olimam Jayadash. Here, Jayadash is which Jada is abbreviated as J, hiding his own identity and uh, that reveals he belongs to the Pishapur, another marginalized community. Polymon also married Shubhulata Dutta, a teacher of Lakata High School. However, he cannot escape from inferior uh, complexity and equalize himself with his wife's sort of status. The novelist thus portrays the mini character Hari Mohan Jaladash. It is also noteworthy that the novelist sketches Hari Mohan's complex identity that he considers himself to be the superior to the math community. Like Shamali Dutta, another teacher of the school, Harimon Jedash, holds the same opinions that, quote, the math children will never be civilized. This filthy and hated of 
both are born to clean the stone and urine of the uh, urine of the civilized society. Education is not for them. Unquote. In the novel, Hori Mohan can also be taken into consideration as a hybrid character as he has lost his own identity and forms to at, uh, sorry, uh, feels to attain the identity as, a, as his wife's hold. What as his wife holds, sorry. In Dangola. Again, we see that. We see that the school for super children uh, was first run by the uh, super uh, community, but later it has been uh, decided that the uh, city corporations would run it, especially the president and the secretary of the school would be selected or would be elected from the corporation, but one or two members would be selected from the uh, uh, metal community. So, uh, and even this privilege for super children will not exist and the children from other community will be taught at the school which will be uh, detached from the uh, original community by erecting a new one and the new gate of the school will be made. Kutubuddin rightly says, Kutubuddin is another teacher, uh, is a teacher of the school, Kutubuddin rightly says, quote, the super children do not come to school uh, attached with their home. They may not come to school when they need to come following the distance road. More darkness will appear to their life, unquote. Kolani Shorta also supports him and the apprehension comes true very shortly. It is clear that the uh, attempt has been taken to other this uh, subaltern community in the this, uh, uh, decolonial phases, which even did not happen in the colonial period as well. By, by this time, the novelist Horishunda Jaladat portrays Sangula, who has recently passed his SHG examination. Both his father and his grandfather asked him not to continue his study. That's why uh, he asked some questions, which I am going to quote. Quote, Rangula wanted to ask, why is a study not needed? But before his asking, Guru Charan, his grandfather, said, We are a lower caste. The lower caste does not require more study. Had us only in praise for more study, you have passed the SHA examination, it is meaningless to the corporation. You cannot get the job for uh, the others from the other caste. Why do you not get? You won't get because you are a matter. Whatever you study, your job is fixed for carrying stolen urine of the corporation, cleaning the sewage lines and uh, sweeping roads and streets. Unquote. Later, we see these privileges of getting jobs is violated as a job uh, seekers from the other from the other upper class communities are employed. So, uh, in this way, we see that uh, 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 the terms periphery and center, there is a relationship we need when we see whenever Abdul Aziz has uh, joined as the headmaster of the school in that time with the help of, uh, uh, in the, in the, with the help of Hori Mohan Jaira, he says that Madhu children must sit on the last benches in the class, in the class. Similar way, if we go through the text, we will see that uh, the methods community children, all they are uh, doubly suppressed. Uh, first of all, in the name of religion, uh, class and uh, caste, and later with the, uh, uh, in the name of our class as well. Similarly, the women are also uh, doubly suppressed. Yeah, just uh, one or two lines are quote from uh, the text. Horizon society is a dominate, uh, Horizon society is male dominating. The shorter is the most powerful in the community. The illiterate are the advisors and assistant force as well. Women are truly frail here. They are not only weaker but also muted. Women's needs are not fulfilled at all in society. If necessary, males take their advice, but for uh, implementing the but for implementing the suggestions, 
the males dependent on their own will since long origin for men have not been dependent on men they are to but their only is less a way by the males their males means their husband and both so to conclude to sum up position of jagat represents the identical and cultural crisis of the most and that we believe is a super community caused by the so called main stream society the empowered society dislocates the super or identity and culture by extremely othering them they are other so the distinct uh, this integration of the of their social cohesion and deprivation of their rights and privileges generation after generation they therefore cannot cross the victimization boundary of untouchability and injustice however sometimes the community member organizes resistance of for their rights showing their repulsive attitude towards the empowered so this kind of ambivalence they attempt to locate relocate and research for their dislocated and violated identity and rights as failure then they show their attraction another part of ambivalence towards the society culturally and uh, socially culturally and politically privileges uh, privileged class they want to become submissive uh, to the powerful and even are uh, ready to lose their own culture and breed culture and breed the main for happy guys uh happy guys as they cannot for own position and gain the status of their powerful and next they become mimic for their tendency of copying and culture and conditions of the empowered unconditionally jagadash very uh irritably project the facts of ambivalence hybridity and mimicry as experienced by the mathematical community in his great fictional work ramgola thank you everyone